Georgia O'Neill grew up like most Aussie country kids. I grew up in a small country town outside um, Canberra and it was all like country kids and stuff so everyone was like around each other on sports carnivals like athletics, cross country, swimming, um, netball on weekends um, and I think that's where I started to get like real competitive because I remember my dad on the sideline always like shouting out, go Georgia! And I was just like, yeah, I think really found that competitive side to me, but enjoying like a lot of different um, range of sports. So pretty much, yeah, country, country um, sports kid. A competitive edge that was developed at a young age that has now seen the 23 year old reach the highest level of women's rugby in Australia a privilege you can only understand once you've worn a Wallaroos jersey. Um, I didn't know what to expect. Like, you always like say, you know, oh, you know, I want to sing the national anthem for my country and, you know, wear, you know, the emblem on your chest. But I didn't know it until I actually felt it in that moment and like tears and all and just proud moment, like for sure. And I'm sure everyone would, you know, experience, like when they experience it, they have that same feeling of honour. But rugby wasn't always O'Neill's first love. The ferocious flanker also has a softer side and it's one that is music to your ears. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Dun, dun, dun. Only darkness when he's away. Mm, yeah. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Mm -hmm. So, I've been doing kind of singing and um, dancing um, ever since I was a kid. Um, funny story, um, my dad like videoed me when I was like, I don't know, two, three, four, it doesn't matter. And he'd always put on music and just watch me and sit back and see what I would do. And I would just express myself and dance and um, just that kind of stuff. And then ever since then, I've loved music and I always loved dancing and expressing myself. And so I got into a bit of musical theatre at school um, I was a lead jazz band singer um, at Dara and got to do a few Estedfords and do a Aretha Franklin, which I absolutely love her music, which is, yeah, cool. Um, and my biggest kind of musical I did was Chicago through the Philharmonica um, Society and got to, yeah, pretty much just dance, wear the whole cabaret outfits and um, it was pretty full on different, but like, that's what theatre is. You just go with, you know, anything. And while you might only catch her singing the national anthem for the time being, she still has dreams to create music in the future. I'm looking to make a bit of an album with my dad. He loves to do guitar and I'm not a good guitarist, but I, I'll give it a go sometimes. And um, that's just a little thing on the side as a little hobby with him. So um, yeah, hopefully get to do that down the track. But while we're waiting for the album to drop, O'Neill has shifted her focus on bettering her game with a little help from one of the best flankers the game has ever seen. That being 77 Test Cap Wallaby, David Pocock. He's one of my favourite players. Um, yeah, I, I haven't like been able to um, experience much from him, but I've watched, um, it's funny, but one of the games that I was playing, I think it was the Western Australia game, I quickly like looked up some video clips of Pocock, you know, um, around the ruck and just thought those are the things I want in my head when I'm around the ruck um, or in the game and I kind of not copied him but like took on board his little tactics um, so having him and that experience behind him and he's an, an awesome guy like I really yeah I'm privileged to just be able to just yeah know him um, and have him be with us to do a few things.